everybody welcome back to my channel my name is samantha um today's video is going to be all about um what the person on your mind or you're interested in is um how they truly feel about you and so that could be anybody um, I'm feeling like a lot of you are coming, going to be coming to this video to find out about love connections or people you're interested in. So we're going to get you some clarity, some um, healing messages. I set intention that everybody gets the messages that they need, which may not always be what you want to hear. So I just ask that you be in a space um, where you are able to be receptive and open to what spirit wants to convey to you in regards to this connection or this person. And um, so yeah, and also this is a general reading, so everything may not apply, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And some of the things you may just not be ready to hear, and if it totally makes no sense, then that's fine too. Just again, this is a general reading and this is meant for clarity and healing and to, again, bring you back to yourself. Um, this is not to give you any false hope about anybody or about a connection. And this is just giving you the straight honest truth. That's what I set intention for, for these kind of readings. So moving on from that, I am doing a special for personal readings and healings. I will leave that info down below. Just email me um, if you are interested. And let's see what else. Oh, um, if you're new to pick a cards, what you're going to do is you're going to pick which group you are drawn to. This is group one and this is the amethyst crystal. Group two is this green crystal. I forget what this one's called. Uh, and the third group is the clear quartz. So you could take as long as you need, pause the video, and um, pick which one you feel the most drawn to with the question in mind, what the person on your mind truly feels about you, uh, what this connection means, what is really going on here, um, what, what messages do I need to hear in regards to this connection. Those are the questions you want to have in mind, or if you have any of your own that also can apply, that's great too. So I will be doing, um, I'll be shuffling on camera, and then I have oracle cards already picked out for each group that I will go through after we get through with the tarot. So yeah, so let's move into group number one. Hi group number one, welcome to your reading. This is, uh, if you chose the amethyst crystal, this is your, these are your messages. So let's get into it. This is what the person on your mind, what they truly feel about you, whatever, me what messages you need to hear in regards to um, this connection. I am, okay. <laughs> the energy is flowing clearly. Wow, okay, so first out, the star. And the two of, you know what's so funny? I even knew that I felt this was gonna happen. I don't read reversals usually, but for this reading, for some reason I even heard right before I started the reading like that I'm gonna be reading reversals. I don't know why, sometimes I get weird messages like that. And the two of pentacles, it's, it's in reverse. And I feel like it's meant to be in reverse. So I'm going to keep it. So the star, the two of pentacles in reverse. Let's get one more. Group number one. The person feels about them. The seven of wands. Okay. So... With the star card coming out, the star card is, they view you as very beautiful. Um, they see you as unique, different. And in a way, I feel like they feel like you're, you're different than what they're used to. And it's funny because when I pulled the two of pentacles reverse, um, the two of pentacles upright can sometimes mean like in... A reading like this that they're 
balancing between multiple people. And that's why I felt like it was necessary to pull this, to like keep this reversed because it's like you're so different than what they're used to that it's it's like they just drop everybody else you know it's like they dropped all of their other options because nobody compares to you and i keep hearing vulnerable like i don't know if you are extremely vulnerable with this person um or if you make them want to be vulnerable with you and it's weird because like in your group i just feel like i'm i'm almost like not losing myself but i feel like i'm in a daze like i feel like it's it's like like my energy feels very weird i feel i feel out of my body almost and i feel like that's what this connection feels like for the both of you and you might be questioning whether this person feels the same way and i'm here to tell you that they feel the exact same way if that's how you feel like i feel like you both feel like this is like a, a dream come true the seven of wands she's in her own bubble while there are wands trying to get to her and and she's in peace she's at peace she's not worried about it like she's staying within herself she's staying grounded and again i feel like this is like there could be all the options in the world and it wouldn't matter because none of them are you you might be in a relationship with this person or i'm kind of getting like that you're waiting for them to commit fully or to give for a title or something like like you guys are definitely dating for sure like i feel the love between you i feel like there's really something deep here um i'm gonna get into your oracle right away so i pulled some of the um sex tarot too for you guys to get more of a like visual of the dynamic between you so for these you got the fool the four of cups and the ten of wands so interesting Again, I just keep getting like that you might think this person has a lot of options or you might think that like this person, you know, it's like you guys have a lot to that you have to work through almost because the 10 of wands is all about pushing through. It's all about like burden and a lot to carry. As I say that, the fool, he's carrying his, you know, he's he's off. Like, he's off to a new beginning. He doesn't care where it leads him. He's just going. And I feel like there's some fear here in regards to this connection, whether it's from you or this person. I'm thinking this person more than anything. And I think them being fearful may come off as them not caring, which the Four of Cups is, is about, like, being stubborn or being cold and... Uh, not accepting what's being offered so you may be under the impression that this person has a lot of other options but really they are struggling to accept yours only because they have never seen anything like you before they have never experienced anything like you a connection like you it's, it's like you're brand new. The Fool is new beginnings, a leap of faith, something you just don't have never seen before. Like you've never been on this venture before. So with the Love Oracle, we got, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay. This is interesting because I keep, there are so many cards here of struggle of trying to hold things together of conflict burden but it's like i don't feel like the burden and the stress is in regards to either of you it might be life circumstances that are causing this stress that are causing this conflict and it's causing a not a rift between you because the energy of your group it feels like you guys just have a bond 
you guys just have a bond that's inexplainable and it's it's like it's just there and it, it feels like like a soul connection and as i say that you have soulmate this person is a soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically um i don't feel like i feel like you already know this person um but anyway it's like this feels like a soul connection a soul bond that you guys have that um and there's just so much love there it's just there's some there are some sort of struggles or conflict that are um hindering things from moving forward maybe or that are are question making this person question what the right thing to do is it's hard to be together um that's kind of what i'm picking up on now it's like it's it's hard to be together it's not easy whether it's because of physical distance whether it's a same sex relationship whether it's um another like just something that's not accepted whether you have different beliefs different your families don't approve um something along those lines your cultures don't align or your your values don't align something like that but it's like i'm feeling like you guys have growing to do you guys have some growing to do and some some self exploration that you need to do before you can actually come together um but regardless the love is there and even though this person is a soulmate soulmates are not always meant to be long term and i know it's it's tough to hear that sometimes trust me i know before when before i like was more evolved i would want to attach myself to that soulmate like that there's only one but the truth of the matter is this life is about evolution it's about growth and soulmates a lot of the time we will have a very deep connection with because we have a a soul contract and that soul contract um we choose each other to go through a lesson together or to learn something from one another and once that lesson is learned that is when you part most of the time. Um, so this could that could be the case here and it also could not because I do feel like there is a lot of potential here for you guys to actually, you know, have something long lasting because the love and the bond here is just really deep and I feel it. And I feel like you both are very mature people like you're very mature people, you handle things very well. You have very good communication for the most part. And I feel like you guys kind of tell it how it is, like you're not scared to say how you feel or when you're feeling a certain way, even if you kind of miss each other sometimes with the with how you feel, like it just doesn't make sense to one another or something. It's like you still respect each other enough to hear each other out. And that in itself is very rare and very, um, you know, sacred to have in a connection. But I just, like with this card about turmoil, it's like I feel like you guys have just been through a lot. And whether it was together or separately, or you guys kind of helped each other get through a tough time. And it's like... There might have been a lot of karma to be cleared between you guys. And through that, a blessing is going to be revealed. Whether that is you two being together, if that's what you two truly desire. Um, or if that's just, you know, taking the lesson and being grateful to have known this person and to have come in contact with this person and to have actually taken the lesson from this soulmate and going and being prepared for a union that is meant to be long lasting without this person if this isn't your end all be all this was to prepare you for your end all be all so it's like there are no more i don't feel like for this group there are any more karmic relationships really like unless you start backtracking but 
I really wouldn't worry about it if you're on your, your journey and you're you're doing what you can do, you're doing your best. Like I just feel like you guys have just both been through a lot and this person sees that in you and um appreciates your friendship and what you guys had and forever whether you guys end up being together or not you will both cherish each other and what you had so for your love oracle healthy choices making healthy choices in love and life self-love self-care being happier girl talk Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yeah, so I feel like this person just like opened you up. Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. This could, okay, I'm getting another storyline here. This person could, this could have been a, a past relationship that you're inquiring about wondering how they feel about you and it's like they they admire that you walked away this is for somebody else now um, they admire that you walked away because it's like you showed strength you showed dignity and respect for yourself and they admired that and that actually helped them to better themselves and I feel like together you guys just were it wasn't working like you guys were both just needing to grow like I was kind of talking about before so it's like I'm getting a bunch of different a few different storylines here so just take what applies to you and take the message but um I just feel like you're both very you feel free like you feel like you just freed yourself of um toxicity within yourself because of letting go of a, a connection and this person feels the same exact way you both are were on a, the same journey for a little bit um to get to similar places but again i feel like if you did um choose to walk away from this i think you did the right thing and i again i think that there is somebody else for you um in regards to like i if this applies to you i feel like there is a uh there is a, a partner that's um that's not this person that is your end all be all for that storyline that i was just going on if this if that makes sense to you all right you are different from anyone i've dealt with before literally started off with that that was my water that just fell that's crazy okay um twin flame and so i'm again i am like i say in a lot of videos i'm not big on the twin flame concept um or any sort of labels really um but i respect people who you know, I have respect for the concept and I'm open to everything. So I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm just saying I'm not going to say this is your twin flame. But for me, the twin flame card, I think, came out to kind of say like, because, you know, when you hear about the twin flame dynamic um, or read about it, what it, it is supposed to be, it's like there's karma to be cleared between you. So in order for you guys to be together. Um, so I, like I was been saying this whole reading, I feel like that's what the theme of this is. It's like you, you guys had to clear karma together and that was your purpose. A soulmate, the soulmate was meant to come into your life. Like no doubt this was a, a connection that was meant to be in your life. And, um, I feel like I'm naturally speaking in past tense because I do, I, I don't feel like you guys are together. Um, because I, and again, if I'm on another storyline, like just take what resonates. If, if the beginning resonated more, you got to just take the message when it, you feel it's meant for you. Um, so whoever I'm talking to, your, this person and you, I feel are just, you're meant to be separate right now. 
I can't say you're not going to be together. I can't say that because, I mean, the future is always unknown. But what I can say is that this person was absolutely meant to be in your life. And if they come back, then it's definitely, you know, meant to be. So I would kind of go by that saying of, um, you know, if you let, if you love them, let them go. If they come back, then they're yours. And if not, then they never were. You know, I would kind of go based off that saying, because I feel like you feel more free leaving this person. You're, you're enjoying yourself more and you, you took the lesson and I think that's it, admirable. And I feel like this person took the lesson as well. And this is how they see you. They see you as somebody who also gave them something that they could not have gotten without you, which is more self-love, which is clearing karma that they could not have done alone. That's deep. I felt that. <laughs> um, your last oracle here or postcard, whatever. I'm with them because of convenience. Very interesting. I am with them because of convenience. You might have been seeing this person on like social media or something and they're like with somebody else. And it might have been very quick. Like I, I do feel like you guys still, like this is very fresh. If you guys split up, if that is applying to you, like... I feel like it's very fresh and this this person might be like trying to gloat on social media with somebody else or like you found out from somebody else that this person seen somebody already they're just trying to you know get back out there I guess or trying to to um, get an ego boost basically this person's trying to get an ego boost um, because, you know, you. I feel like you left this person and I feel like it hurt their ego a little bit, even though this was very, like, guided and they know that this was guided. It's like you're both kind of on a, a journey. I feel like you're more being taking um, the time to yourself. This person's kind of exploring outwardly more. If that makes sense. So you, you guys are expressing your, your new sense of freedom um, differently. And that's all this is. Yeah. Interesting. So basically, again, this person feels that um, either you are their person, like we were talking about in the beginning. You are absolutely their person and they really want to fight to be together. Um, or you walking away from this person has, um, helped this person grow and they, they have respect for you and they have a love for you. You got, you both have a place in your heart for each other because of the lessons you've learned together. So group number one, that is your reading. I hope this resonated. Let me know down below. Again, personal readings. I'll leave info down below. I'm doing a special. So I will move on to group number two now. Hi, group number two, welcome to your reading about what the person you're interested in or with uh, feels about you. This is, you picked the um, green stone here. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna pull your tarot and then I have your oracle cards that I'll get into after that. So group number two, what messages do they need to hear about this connection? The sun, okay, good start. What does that person feel about them? Group number two. All right, this energy feels a lot lighter than um, group number one. The moon. That's interesting. You got the sun and the moon. I'm, I'm, I, wow, okay. That was a message. Um, <laughs> so I just got like super, like, blah. Okay. Um, the yin yang symbol, it's like light and dark duality. That's what I'm getting from this, like um, like opposites. Because the sun and the moon, opposites, duality, light, dark. 
getting something about blonde wavy hair. I'm seeing blonde wavy hair. I don't know if you or this person have that. The is this a nine of wands? Nine of wands, yeah. And then the nine of wands. At the bottom of the deck, the eight of wands. Wow. So, group number two, how does your person what's on your mind feel about you? Well, I'm hearing that song, um, I want to get to know you. Oh my God, a huge hawk just flew outside too. That's one of my guides. Usually, wow, I've never seen a hawk fly that close to the window. But um, that song by um, 50 Cent and um, I forget who else was like, I want to get to know you. Dun, 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 dun. So the sun, they see you as somebody who's as a light. They see you as a light. Like you make this person happy. I feel like this is kind of new. This is a newer connection for um, some of you. The moon is about the unknown. Um, I feel like they don't know, you guys just don't know a lot about this person and they don't know a lot about you, but they also, at the same time, there's like some sort of recognition with each other. It's interesting. It's like nobody, if people were to look at you, they would never put you two together. That's what I'm getting from this. Like people would never think that you two would get together. Like just from looks. You guys look like complete opposites. You guys have come from two totally different places in, in the world, like in life. Um, just two totally different backgrounds is what I'm getting. Cultures, like, and people would just never think. And, but for some reason, you guys just have this balance and this chemistry that's just undeniable. The Nine of Wands is all about strength and being resilient. Um, that it's called it's also the card for like the last push and you can see they all look like they're celebrating so obviously overall this is a very positive energy here but with the moon they feel like there's just a lot they don't know about you they just i'm getting very surface level energy like there's not much that they know because i feel like obviously this would be a newer connection um, the eight of wands is like quick communication or just very fiery energy, passion. It's a very physical connection. That's what I'm going to say. Because you are, you look so different to this person again with the blonde hair, as I'm looking at the sun, like I'm just getting blonde hair. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. That's for somebody, but, um, like it's just different. You know, like, people will be attracted to somebody because they're different. They'll be intrigued because they're different. And it's like, this person just has no idea. They're used to a certain kind of person. And you don't give them that same vibe. So they're, like, very interested in what you're about. So let me pull some of the sex for Toro. Taro. <laughs> Toro. Um, okay. Uh, the Knight Nape of Pentacles. Wow. Uh, yeah. Knave of Pentacles. This person's very, um, like, I don't want, I'm not, when I say slow, I'm not meaning, like, slow. Like, I'm meaning, I feel like they're, they take their time. Like, Pentacles are all about taking their time. In the normal rider uh, tarot deck, Rider Weight Tarot, the Knight of Pentacles is, um, or I'm sorry, the Knave is the page, I think, in this deck. I don't know, whatever. You get the point. Um, they are slow moving, taking their time. The Nine of Cups, wow. Nine of Cups is fulfillment, like personal achievement. Okay. I'm just, I'm getting all sorts of sexual energy here. I'm trying to keep this like PG, but, um, 
like this person is just so in, ad, like is so intrigued by how you look but like you also have a really interesting vibe it's like you know those people that like their looks don't go along with their personality like they're shocked at at who you actually are or like the vibe that you give off because they would never think you'd be like that like you know, when, like, people are super, like, attractive and you're like, oh, they're probably stuck up. But you get to know somebody and they fit that description and they end up being the coolest, most heartwarming person ever. And you're like, wow, I would never expect you to be that way. I would have thought you were stuck up and, like, into too into yourself or whatever. Um, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Okay, wow. That's really interesting how I was saying this card was the night. But it's, it is the page. And here you actually got the Knight of Pentacles as well. That's so interesting. Yeah, this person in all of these cards, the masculine, whether it doesn't matter the gender, it's like the masculine is giving to the feminine. I'm considering the masculine your person that you're inquiring about. It doesn't have to be a masculine, but... That's just how I'm seeing it. Um, like, in all those cards. This person just wants to take care of you. It feels like the beginning of something. Yeah, it definitely feels like, sorry, I was listening to my grandmother. Um, this feels like this person just really wants to just, like, get dressed up with you and go take you out. Like, they just want to see what you're about. Let's get more Oracle. Love Oracle, you got love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Heavy on the attraction. <laughs> Heavy on the attraction. Uh, keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Interesting. And the chaser. Chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. Disregard the description. I feel like this person is just wanting, it's like chasing you. Is the chaser here like they're they're making all the the plans the moves they're willing to do what it takes like this person wants you this person wants you in any way possible um except friends <laughs> like they do not want to be your friend let's put it that way so your other love oracle a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light all right, sorry. Um, playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Yeah, I feel like this person really just wants to have fun with you. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. I really feel like this is like a dating situation. Like, I don't feel like you guys are together together, but like, there is absolutely life. A lot of fun here like this is somebody you can really enjoy yourself with this is somebody who you know isn't just expecting you to take care of the bill every time or this is somebody who, who probably takes care of him all the time is what I'm getting like this person really wants to wine and dine you wants to take care of you wants to um, you know like undress you like this person wants to just show you how special you are to them and show you what you deserve like they're just so like inspired by you and so um into you yes it's very physical like i feel like you guys have a very strong sexual connection but um it's it's not all that i feel like this person does see this as more than that like i definitely feel like this person wants more than that and sees potential here this might be somebody you've been dating. And um, with this card here, a message for you, 
I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Like, this might be somebody you've been dating. And it's like, you might not even really... This person might just not want to scare you off, but they they love you. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure they love you. <laughs> like, I, I like this energy, though, because it's very light. This energy feels very light and very pure. And in no way do I feel any sort of bad intentions. I don't feel any um, anything hidden, even with the moon card here. I, I feel like that's just talking about them not knowing you. But I feel like regardless, they still, they're seeing things through. And it's like, I don't know why I'm getting this message. I, I'm getting that they're going to ask you to do something tonight. Very strongly. Like they're, they're going to hit you up tonight and ask you to do something. Or ask, or try and take you out. It is, I think it, is it Friday? Or is it Thursday? If it's Thursday, then they're going to do a frat. Then they're going to ask you to go out with them tomorrow or something. But that, I'm picking that up for somebody. You are a very powerful woman and I am not used to that. So I run. Okay. Interesting. I talk to others about what to do about how I feel for you. Yeah, I don't feel like this person has communicated with you about how they really feel. It's, it's deep. You could really hurt me. So they're just trying to get to know you on a deeper level so that they can know that um, if they were to be vulnerable with you, that it will be accepted and it will be received and that you aren't going to be like, hold up, like, what the hell are you talking about? You know, um, they want to kind of get, feel you out and see how you feel first. So if you really feel strongly about this person and you're kind of like when like when you're gonna tell me how you feel when are we gonna take things to another level i'm going to advise you to let your guard down a little bit you know your situation better than i do i'm just seeing the what i'm getting and um if this message has been kind of you know has been applying to you and you feel like it is about your situation then I'm going to say I would let your guard down a little bit. I would start allowing this person in a little more. You know, I'm all about, like, you don't, I like how you're playing this. Let's, I'm going to put this that way. I like, from what I can see, I like how you're playing this. You're not giving all of your cards right away. You're... But I also feel like you might be holding back too much and not knowing exactly when to... You might be waiting on this person to put their cards out when in reality they're waiting on you to do the same thing. So it's like somebody got to go first. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in a way that you're telling them, pouring everything out, telling your whole life story. Like it doesn't have to be like that. I feel like if you just let them in a little bit or do something that shows them, text them and ask them out. You know, like something like that, show that you're interested, show that you really are into them. I feel like this, it's going to open the door for things to deepen. And it's going to, I mean, the only way to build trust is to be vulnerable. And again, that doesn't mean you have to pour everything out, but a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. And I feel like this person is you two are going to have a lot of fun together and it's going to be a very enjoyable experience. Like this is a very fun, playful connection. And this person really wants more with you for sure. So I, I'm going to say that very confidently. And again, you're, you're somebody that they're not used to. You're very different whether it's how you look or whether it's it's just who you are and the vibe you give off like it's just very different to them and they don't know how to approach you they don't know how to go about things it's like they're scared that you're gonna think they're not good enough and so by being vulnerable and kind of getting eye level with them in a way will help them to see that you're human you know it's like if we have a guard up People who are trying to get to know us or, or dating us, they, they, they look at us in that way like and put us on a pedestal because they're like, oh, this person's perfect. 
like because you're giving off the vibe that you have you have no baggage like you you have nothing wrong with you because you're not opening up about anything so it's like dang this person's perfect like they got you know it's like how do i compare to that but so the message i'm getting is to get more human with this person and kind of let your guard down and kind of embrace your your imperfections and the things that you maybe fear sharing about yourself and share something and see how they react kind of like test things out and, and be playful with it like just have fun with it and i feel like it's actually going to open the door to to things going to the next level if that's what you desire so group number two that's your reading about how your person feels about you hope this resonated let me know down below i will also leave my info for personal readings down below if you're interested and i'm gonna move on to group number three Hi, group number three, welcome to your reading about how the person you are thinking about is feeling about you. Um, if you chose number three, you chose the clear quartz. So I'm going to pull your tarot and then we'll get into your oracle. So let me tune into this group's energy real quick. Okay, group number three, what their person feels about them that they are thinking about. I'm getting the color green. I don't know if green is significant. I don't know if you were looking, you were thinking about picking um, group number two as well. Because that stone was green. I, I was getting that color too. What? The? Okay. Movement, choices, decisions. Passion ignited. I'm getting that um, this person feels like they have to make some sort of choice or decision in order to be with you. Throat chakra. I just got chills with this card for some reason. At the bottom, accelerated motion. I'm actually not getting anything yet. Um, all I got was about them feeling like they have to make some sort of choice in order to be with you. It might be a move. You guys might be separate um, physically or you might be deciding whether to move in together or not. For this storyline that I'm getting I do feel like you guys um might have been together for a while or for a good amount of time like this doesn't feel necessarily new for your sexual tarot we got nine of pentacles the nine of wands and the star yeah um i keep getting something about distance i feel like there's definitely some sort of um distance here uh, actually i feel like there might be a separation here like you guys might not have spoken in a while because of distance or because um Somebody wasn't willing to, to do something or to make a move or of some sort to be together. And in in this separation, if this applies to you, um, this person's kind of fire for you, their passion for you reignited. Like it it it, it reinstilled like the love that they had for you in the beginning and made them realize how much they they do care about you and throat chakra here it's like they want to speak up but i'm getting a lot of fear about it i'm getting a lot of fear with this card they want to speak up but they're scared to they're scared of how you'll react they're scared that you'll turn them down um for this situation if it has to do with a move them not willing to move or something like that um 
they I'm not getting that they're willing to bend. It's like this is something that they, that means a lot to them or this is something that they're standing still in. Um, and it's like they're having hope. The star card is about hope. They're, they're hoping that maybe you'll change your mind. That's what I'm getting. For your love, Oracle, we got transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah. So um, it's definitely some sort of separation or some sort of conflict here. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. I feel like you, you kind of have some anger toward this person and resentment. Um, the nine of pentacles is about like, it's like the single card, um, in this card, in this deck, the masculine is cutting off the hair of the feminine while she's asleep. I feel like you feel slighted by this person. You feel slighted. You feel like this person just doesn't, you know isn't doing what's isn't considering you or your feelings that's what this feels like to me it feels like there's just like a, a difference in um in what you guys you know want or this next step it could also be about a marriage or it could be about um getting married or like your values might not match up like this person may not want to get married or may not want to at least right now and you are wanting to right now something like that um regardless in the midst of all this there is so much hope like there you with the star card here with them wanting to speak up and with the passion ignited it's like this person wants to really reconnect and wants to work on things and accelerated motion i feel like things will move forward destiny as well at the bottom here and hope hope right underneath that so things are again are going to work out how they are meant to just like over here it says things will work out for the best so what i feel like you need to do is continue taking the space here um you need to work through if you do feel angry if you do feel resentment you need to work through why you feel that way. Why you feel resentful. What is it that you feel? Get your, your feelings and emotions and what you would say to this person out. I'm getting that you should write it down. Write this person a letter. You don't have to give it to them. You don't have to tell them what it says. But I'm getting that you should just write a letter of everything you would say to this person. And it's going to help you to see clearly um, what it is that you truly feel why it is you truly feel the way you do because when we're angry when we're in that mindset of f this person like they didn't consider me blah 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 um because i could see this person really loves you and really cares about you and really wants a future with you but it's just a different it's, it's a hump to get over and um in order to, for things to move forward it's important for you to work through the resentment or anger or your own feelings so that you're ready for when this person does speak up. So let's pull the other love oracle I have. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So this is a destined um, partnership. Wow. Twin flames, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. I feel like this is really just a rough patch. Like, that's what I keep getting. It's like, this This isn't the end. It's kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection. Falling in love. Um, let me put that right there. And let me pull these two. I have moved on. I don't feel like this means that they, like, moved on in the, you know, usual term. I feel like um, they're over this argument. They're over this, you know, disagreement. That's what I feel like this is talking about. 
And it's like, you know, energetically, when we're energetically connected to somebody, especially somebody we have, we have like a soul connection with, we feel each other, you know, energetically. Sorry, I'm getting like a hiccup. We feel each other energetically. And so if you are blocked, if you are not facing why you feel a certain way or like getting to the bottom of why you feel a certain way, it's like this person, even though they're not saying it, you're not saying anything, they can feel what you're feeling. And they can feel like if they think like, hey, like, should I hit her up today or hit him up today? Um, they're going to feel the energy of where you're at because they're connected to you. And they're going to be like, oh, no, like it's probably not a good idea today. But if you start opening yourself up and you start, you know, actually recognizing what it is that you're actually mad about. Why you are so mad at this person? What is it in you that is, you know, making you feel stuck? Because this can easily be worked through. I feel like it, it's just going to, it's, I'm get. I just heard long-term plan, some sort of long-term plan, um, it's like this person's willing to work this out with you. They are willing to work this out for you, with you. Will, oh my God, will reach out sooner than you think. Shut up. I did not look at any of these. Wow. Wow. I drink and keep myself busy to stop thinking about you. Wow. Whew. I feel like a heaviness in my heart. Like, I feel like this person's really going through it without you. And you are too, but it's like, I feel like, I honestly feel like you're the one that's holding on to something that just you need to let go of. And I really feel like right, taking the time to actually sit with yourself with no distractions and just actually getting like organizing your thoughts and your motives and what it is you actually want. And I honestly feel like you're going to sit with yourself and you're going to write everything down and you're going to be like, I just want to be happy. I just want to be with this person. Like I really, you know, invested a lot and I, on, I really love this person. Like, I really want to be with this person. And, and they're not a bad person. It's just we're having a disagreement. We're having a, you know, we're just not meshing right now. And that's okay. I feel like when you guys do communicate next, um, everything's going to kind of pour out. <laughs> you might be a little, you know, blocked at first. But... By the end of the conversation, you both are going to really be expressing yourselves and how you feel and you're, you're going to end up fixing this and, and figuring out a way to make things work. But um, it's like right in the middle here, the spark is still there. Look, at it, it's like so cool how it, it's organized. It's like right in the middle, the fire is still lit. And I feel like things are going to get better. Um, allow yourself the time to, to reflect. Allow yourself the time to, again, figure out what it is you, you want. This group is very self-explanatory. Like, this person wants you. <laughs> they see a future with you. They want more with you. They're over it. Whatever fight you guys had, they're just waiting for you to be over it. Trying to see if I'm picking up on anything else. I'm getting that this person might not even drink usually, but they're drinking because they're so like upset. <laughs> like they just want to be with you. They just want you. And the two nines here, <clears throat> nine is about, um, like, kind of like, en not 
endings, yes, but I don't feel like in this case it's meaning like your relationship is ending. I'm feeling like this maybe a cycle of arguing about something or not disagreeing about something is coming to an end. Like it's just a cycle that's going to turn over and you guys are going to go forward communicating better and taking this next step together um, in a way that you both compromise basically is what I'm getting. Like you both are going to have to compromise a little bit but at the end of the day, it's like you're going to have what actually matters, which is each other. And um, it's like this person's just ready to, to move forward with this. So group number three, that is your reading about how your person feels about you. I hope that this resonated. Let me know down below. Also, if you want a personal reading or Reiki session, I'll leave that info down below as well. And I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their night.